In this video, we're going to talk about Thevenin and equivalent, <clears throat> but we're going to specifically focus on a simplified version, a very special case where we do not have any dependent sources in the um, circuit. <clears throat> Earlier, we had a video that talked about general case where you could solve it for any circuit. <clears throat> in this case, we have uh, we don't have any dependent sources, which allows us to simplify the steps. And instead of having to solve this once when the circuit is open, once again when the circuit is uh, shorted, we can actually uh, use a shortcut to find our feminine. And then we would have a choice of even either finding I short circuit or open circuit. So in general, it cuts the work a significant amount of time out of how long it takes to find a um, a, um, a co uh, thevenin equivalent model for such a circuit. So let's say in this case, we are being asked to find a thevenin equivalent with respect to A and B points. And so basically, they want us to replace this circuit with a circuit that is basically a thevenin equivalent of this. So again, we have three steps we're going to go through instead of four step with the general case. Again, really is important to make sure there is no dependent source in here. So step one basically uh, allows us to um, deactivate all sources. Okay. Now, this is deactivate all sources. So this is a bit of a new concept in this series. Um, uh, so deactivate all independent sources. And this is, again, a new concept in this conversation. So we've got to talk a little bit about it. What does it mean to deactivate, uh, to deactivate, um, uh, a voltage source. Well, the job of a voltage source is to do what? Is to give you voltage, which means if I want to deactivate a voltage source, then I have to make sure that V goes to zero, which basically means you replace it with a short. If I replace it with a short, the voltage across is guaranteed to be zero. Now, what does it mean to deactivate um, a current source then? Well, you ask the same question. You say, what is the job of a current source? The job of a current source is to deliver I. So if I want to deactivate, I got to make sure no current flows through it. So how can I make sure no current flow through it? You simply do an open. Okay. So again, as I've talked about before, as you do this step for this model, you do not want to use the same drawing over and over again. So what would you want to do is you redraw it. So you say, okay, in this case, point A is right here. And then what happened to my voltage source? Well, I said I replaced my voltage source with a short. So instead of drawing the five volt, I'm just going to put a short in here. And then we're going to put a resistor here. It's two kilo ohms. We leave 15 in here. And that's point B. That's where we want to find the terminal equivalent with respect to. Then we're going to do an 8. What we're going to do with the current source? The current source is going to turn into a short. Okay. And then 10K. And I'm sorry. This, this uh, current source has to be an open, right? When you deactivate the current source, it has to be an open. So this will be an open here. Uh, the voltage source was a short. And then we got a 5K. So now this is my new circuit. So so let's just, just, just to make sure since I had to make that change. And here is where the current source was. Now it's an open, which means the I that goes through here is what? Zero. So we have deactivated the current source. And you remember this is where the voltage source was. And we put a short in there, which means we deactivate. So now the voltage here is zero. That's the idea. Okay, so now we're ready. But now what? What is the end result of step one? Basically, basically says deactivate all the independent sources. And then if you do that, R thevenin would be equal to whatever the RAB equivalent is. So as I'm looking through these points, whatever the R equivalent is, uh, is going to be our 
uh, thermal. So let's let's take a look at that. So since we have a short in parallel with the 2K, the end result is this whole thing is a short gone. Okay, and since this is open, that we, this doesn't play a role at all in our circuit. So our circuit basically, and this is a pay attention because when I've looked at people people who do this for the first time. Uh, understanding whether this 15k is in series with these 10 and 5k is one of the more complicated one remember we are looking at point a and b that's the two point we're looking at which means 10 and 5 is gonna sit like this so this is gonna be 10k this is gonna be the 5k so now what do we have we have a 15k in parallel with the 15k that is going to be the resistance equivalent at point A and B, which also we know that's the R7 that we've been after, and so that simply becomes 7.5 7 kilo ohm, and we are done. Okay, so notice we found R7. So, in order for us to be able to do a model, what do we have to do? All I have to do is I have to find V open circuit, and once I find the V open circuit, I am done. So that becomes a step two. Step two is I'm going to find V open circuit, which is basically V Thevenin. So open circuit, which basically means don't put a load on my circuit. Leave the term terminals that I'm interested in on untouched. That doesn't mean you cut the 15K resistor in here that doesn't mean it. you just do you're not going to add load to this you leave these open okay now i i that this is basically redrawing the original circuit because step two is going to be a totally new uh, work uh, that we have to do on the circuit so it would be very dangerous if you try to do all of these on the same same circuit keep redrawing from the fresh just to make sure nothing uh, nothing is uh, incorrectly assumed okay so now we are here and we've got this thing and we need to find basically the open circuit which is going to be the voltage from here to here so how do i do well i can use kcl kvl whatever i want to do it look like kcl might be the easiest one to do as since we have three essential nodes one i'm going to call reference v ref and that's going to be zero is a different color so it kind of shows up a little better all right <coughs> and and great it looked like this is going to be really easy because i have one node here va one node here vb so we got two nodes that i have to write an equation for then i go ahead and try to write kcl at um, va but that's really cool because if this is zero I've got a five volt source. This is one of the special cases on node voltage, which basically tells me I don't have to do anything other than just say VA is equal to five volts, right? If this is zero, then VA has to be five volt because there's only a five volt source between the reference and VA. Now, uh, we, uh, that was great. That saved us having to write a big equation first. So let's go ahead and see if we can get lucky with VB. No, VB look like we got to do a little bit more work Again, since, every, since all the resistors are in kilo ohms and all the, um, all the currents are in milliamp, I just to avoid having to carry all the zeros and the uh, decimal points. I'm just going to leave all the resistors in kilo ohm, all the currents in milliamp, which means all the voltages will be still in volts. And it saves me having to write a bunch of zeros. So anyway, so I've got to calculate the current this way, which is going to be VB minus VA divided by 15 plus uh, actually it's going to be minus since it's coming in minus 10 plus vb minus 0 divided by 10 plus 5 which is 15 equal to 0 really kind of very straightforward we're going to solve this one we're going to find that vb is equal to um, 77 0.5 volt that's great that's not what i'm looking for i'm looking for v thevenin v thevenin is going to be v across a and b v across a and b is going to be va minus vb i plug the 5 here and 77 here i'll end up with minus 72 and a half volts great so 
Now I have the R thevenin from step one. I have the V thevenin from step two. So just finish the job and draw the model. Okay, and that's simply, I'll do a V thevenin right here and the resistor. So now I can replace that circuit with respect to AB with this thing which is minus 72 and a half for the V thevenin and I have a R thevenin which I found earlier here a seven and a half seven and a half kilo ohm and I'm done and notice this this is much faster than if I went the general case had to solve it once for V open circuit one for I short circuit divide them to find R thevenin saves so almost half the time so that's the reason we do that. The key thing here to remember is better your circuit cannot have any dependent source. If it does, you have to use the general per general general case. You cannot use the special case.